Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this interesting problem. We have a circle in which PQ is a card of length 13 units and RS is parallel to PQ and the length of RS is 18 units and the distance between them is given by PR which is equals to 6 units. We have to find out the radius of the circle. Now we can solve this problem in so many ways. My favorite is always Pythagoras theorem. As much as possible, I will see wherever I can, wherever I can apply right angle, make right angle triangles and Pythagoras theorem. So let us start. We know that from the center, if you drop a perpendicular, it will bisect the card. That means PQ is divided into two parts, 6.5 and 6.5 are 13 by 2 and 13 by 2. Now in that case, what will be the length of rs divided into now you can see that we have a rectangle there of 13 by 6 that means the left out part of rs is 5 units or can i say that from the perpendicular down if i go the length of that will be 11 and of 6 and of plus 11 and of 18 that is how it is divided now let us join from center to the two points on the circle. We are taking the points which are on the downside of the circle because there are two points we have Q and S whereas on the top side we have only one P there is no other point. Now once we are able to get this radius we can take radius as hypotenuse and we can have right angle triangles because we have 90 degrees everywhere. Let us try to give some alphabets there. Let us say OM is the perpendicular and N is the point where OM intersects with RS and let the length of OM be Y. Now we have ready for us two right angle triangles to solve and find out the value of Y from which we can find out the radius. Let us go ahead to the first triangle. In triangle OMQ we have Y plus 6 whole square plus 6.5 whole square equals to R square. Let us go to our next triangle that is triangle ONS in which we have y square plus 11.5 whole square. I explained you earlier how we got NS as 11.5 because RN is 6.5 left out NS is 11.5. y square plus 11.5 whole square equals to R square. Now you can see that these two equations are equating to R square. That means we are going to get a quadratic equation in y or maybe we will be able to solve y by a linear equation. Let us see that. So let us equate these two equations whatever we have got both of them are equal to r square. So I can go ahead and write down that first triangle OMQ gave us y plus 6 whole square plus 6.5 whole square is r square and triangle ONS gave us y square plus 11.5 whole square is r square. Therefore, y plus 6 whole square plus 6.5 whole square equals to y square plus 11.5 whole square. Now let us expand them. We have y square plus 12y plus 36 plus 42.25 that is 6.5 whole square. which is equals to y square plus 11.5 whole square 11 twelves are 132, 132.25. We can cancel y square and y square. What we are going to get is 12y equals to 54. 12y equals to 54, y equals to 4.5. Once we know y value, we can directly go and say that y square plus 11.5 whole square is r square which is equals to 4.5 whole square plus 11.5 whole square. That is 20.25 plus 132.25 which is equals to 152.5. R square equals to 152.5. R equals to square root of 152.5. That can be also written as square root of 610 by 4. Or approximately its value is equals to 12.35. Approximately because we know 12.3 square is 151.29 
and 12.4 whole square is 153.76 exactly somewhere in the middle so we can take it as 12.35 or 12.34 so that is the radius let's have a quick summary of this problem it's an interesting problem we can solve that in so many ways this is one of the method which i felt is easier and i was able to solve it by this method so i just shared this with you please do let me know your feedback let's have a quick summary of this we have been given a circle and we have to find out its radius what is given to us one card of length pq one card pq of length 13 units and there is an another line rs which is part of a card and that is parallel to pq and the distance between these parallel lines is six units we have to find out the radius so our logic is that pq is 13 so the perpendicular drawn from the center will divide that into two parts 6.5 and 6.5 that means if you take that r s is divided by this perpendicular om at n then we know n s is 11.5 18 minus 6.5 so we know n s is 11.5 we also know m q equals to 6.5 if you take the unknown value that is o n as y variable then we have two right angle triangles ready for us one gives us y plus 6 whole square plus 6.5 whole square is r square other one gives us y square plus 11.5 whole square is r square equate these two and get your y as 4.5 once you got the y equals to 4.5 you can go back and substitute in any one of the equations and you will get that r equals to square root of 610 divided by 4 r square root of 152.50 approximately equals to 12.34 12.35